There's a lot of baseball talent in the Seager household. Three major league draft picks and two all-stars were raised by Jeff and Jody Seager in Cabarrus County. And it was in their barn, a short walk from their front door, that the Seager boys developed their talent. Now you're still impressed? That's the famous rug. It was here, into a piece of carpet left over from the construction of their house, hanging from a cedar post, that Kyle, Justin, and Corey Seager hone their swings. We do tea, yeah. and then we soft toss. And every once in a while, we would work on fielding techniques, and they'd throw back into it. Jeff Seeger said he hung the contraption when he built the barn close to 20 years ago. You guys spent a lot of time up here, though. Yeah, we did. When they were little, we'd come up all the time. And you didn't have to wait for a field to get empty. It was an on-demand batting cage that his sons used for 15 years. It's been hit a few times. There was Kyle, the oldest, now a gold glove third baseman preparing for his ninth season with the Seattle Mariners. Justin, the middle brother who was drafted by the Mariners in 2013 and played last season for their double-A affiliate. And Corey, the youngest, the first round pick of the LA Dodgers out of Northwest Cabarrus High School, the 2016 Rookie of the Year and two-time Silver Slugger winner. Corey got kind of identified early because of his big brother. Behind it all, there was Jeff and Jody Seeger. So as a parent, you know, you look for your opportunities of what your kids want to do. So they wanted to do this and we gave them the opportunity. You sacrifice a lot for, for that, but it panned out. They had a great time. We met some really nice people and I wouldn't change it. There are moments that stand out, of course. When Kyle was called up to the Mariners, he called Jody, who was on vacation, and told her she had to leave to go home now. I'm like, uh, no, I'm at the beach. I'm not going anywhere. This is my week. And he said, I got called up. You need to be in California by tomorrow. So I started screaming. Kyle made his major league debut in Anaheim. First big league hit for Kyle Seager. You're nervous as all get out for your kid. You know, I'm going to do well. But it's a thrill to see that he, he reached his dream. There was the circus during Corey's senior season at Northwest Cabarrus. It was a madhouse going to the games. There was 8,000 scouts. The 18th overall pick by the LA Dodgers, a not quite 18 year old, was whisked away to follow in his brother's footsteps. And his brother gave him, I thought, some of the best advice going. He, he said, don't be in a hurry to get to the next level. Treat every level as your major leagues. It wasn't long before Corey had cracked the Dodgers roster. And there's his first big league base hit. And him being number one prospect, all that, number one for the Dodgers, there was a ton of media hype on that deal. So we were a little bit more prepared, like she said, to, to handle it. A Rookie of the Year nod and two Silver Slugger awards followed. And just like that, Corey was the second Seager firmly entrenched in the major leagues. It is gone, Seager. Listening to the crowd, I had like a tear in my eye. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is it. This is happening. You know, it's not a dream anymore. Dreams that started at home, or rather, just outside of their home, in the barn, with a scrap piece of carpet that may not stay idle for too much longer. My little grandson comes here. I keep thinking maybe someday he'll he'll come up here and take a few whacks too. Not everything is easy in the Seeger house though. Jody gets so nervous watching her sons pacing every at bat, fretting over every pitch. She has to watch the games alone upstairs. Jeff watches downstairs.